Hello friends, welcome to Channel M Science World. Today, let us talk about cryosleep and cryopreservation. It is an advanced medical technology. Cryosleep is a process in which a person is put into a state of suspended animation using a chamber or something very cold and it is very common in science fiction. Space travel takes a very very long time. During the travel time, playing board games is just not the way to pass time. Basically, because being awake during the travel time means we need to eat, drink and do all the normal human routine. It means carrying a lot of supplies while traveling in space. This is just not an ideal scenario. If we have learnt anything from movies, it is to sleep our way through space. In 1960, one guy slept for 30 hours inside a chamber with no daylight and woke up thinking it was just a nap. Researchers have found that in the absence of light and no external monitors of time, it is not that uncommon for humans to fall into longer sleep cycles. This cannot be a solution as extended sleep cycle leads to an extended wake cycle too. So just a dark room isn't enough. Spaceworks Enterprises is working with NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration and has discovered a way for humans to stay asleep for two weeks or longer. All these can be done by lowering the astronaut's body temperature to 32 degrees Celsius, which puts their bodies into a mild hypothermia, slowing the metabolic rate and preventing injury from lack of oxygen. But still, they haven't figured out how to slow the aging. Cryosleep is now currently being used to cure the terminally ill patients. Now let us talk about cryopreservation. Originally, this idea was very simple. We needed to freeze the bodies close to minus 200 degrees Celsius and place them in a container of liquid nitrogen. First ever person to be cryopreserved was James Bedford. It was in 1967. He was a 73 year old psychologist who died of kidney cancer but his wish was to put in a cryosleep and in future using advanced technology doctors could bring him back. One problem with cryopreservation is our cells are filled with water and when you freeze water it expands and forms crystals which irreversibly damage the body. But the solution presented to this is to replace the water in the cells to antifreeze agent. But it is still an unproven technology. It might be a way to cheat death. And if this ever works, as in science fiction, space travel is going to be a lot easier and lifespan of humans will be very longer. And cryosleep may open the door to deep space. If we have to check whether cryosleep or cryopreservation works, then we need to be cryopreserved too. There are nearly 300 cryogenically frozen individuals in the US and another 50 in Russia. And also a few thousand prospective candidates have signed up. With advancing science and technology, life expectancy has increased multiple folds. And the day is not far where the major illness will be cured in the blink of an eye. And all these cryopreserved people coming to life will be witnessed shortly with the advancement in the medical field. Happy sciencing! See you next time with another wonderful video. Thank you.